Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Way Morris, owner of Master Tremendous Q. And today, I got a super simple video for you guys, all right? This is actually a fan request, somebody who watches the channel, and I wanted to take care of this video because they are actually gonna be picking up a Kong. Now, before I jump into it, uh, you know, I gotta thank everybody for stopping by, okay? So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content, okay? And if everybody returning to the channel or our returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you guys' support, all right? So I'm doing this video a little bit different. It's not gonna be a, a voiceover. We're actually just, I'm gonna walk you guys through my Kong maintenance process, okay? I cooked three briskets for, it's actually my last cook for the previous video. I cooked three briskets, so we got a lot of fat drippings that we gotta take care of. We're gonna rewrap the diffuser plates. We're gonna take out the old charcoal. We're gonna clean the ash box, and then we're gonna set everything back up and rewrap it with some foil, all right? So let's go ahead and check this thing out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need, make sure you have an ash box, a couple of garbage bags for our old foil. You wanna have your new foil so you can get ready to rewrap your diffuser plates, okay? Let's go ahead and get the cover taken off. Set that to the side. Don't wanna lose our trash bag. We'll set these underneath here. So I also use a brush go ahead and clean my comb okay and uh, this came with the comb it is an ash uh, we'll call it an ash rake all right so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up all right we're gonna take our racks out actually I take that back first stone a great stone and we're going to clean our racks first all right now great stones i love these things but you got to be careful because some of the great the stones and uh some of the uh the material you'll see as i'm cleaning will fall off onto your grates so you want to make sure you use a brush afterwards to clean your grates so we'll scrape these stones or we'll scrape the grate You can see from the grate how thick it was. All right. So now you see the bottom of this grate, nice and nice and charred. That's what it looks like. That's what the uh, the grate stone. It gets rid of, it cuts through all of that black, the black uh, grease and fat that sticks to your grates, cuts right through it. And this is what's left of the stone, all right? This is what it started out like, and this is what it finished. All right, so we'll put this in our trash bag. that to the side and now because those stones release all of those granules and like sand like granules I'll take my great, great brush and I'll just it's this is basically like dusting it off okay you want to make sure that you do this on both sides Now, 
We can set our grates to the side, okay? Now, we'll take our diffuser plates, okay? And we'll take the foil off of these. And you can see you can see why we do it you got all the crap you got the rub the sand the, the sandstone so we'll just ball that up and we'll throw it right in the trash and we'll do the same thing with the other one you want to be careful when you're taking this off Go ahead and do it over your Kong because you're gonna have the stuff spill back into the, on the ground if you're on your patio. And it's just a lot easier to clean up on the Kong. Or from within the Kong. Now your grate is still gonna turn black during the cook process, okay? But that's okay. What the foil prevents is all of this extra stuff From, uh, from contacting your diffuser plates and then sticking to your diffuser plates, making them un, uh, uneven and bumpy, okay? So we'll take a sheet of foil, about 14, 14, about 14 and we'll say about 18, 18 long. And we'll set our diffuser plate diagonal. And this is super simple. You would literally just fold the foil over and the, the, the point here is you just want to make sure that the entire diffuser plate is covered. Okay. Don't worry about the foil underneath the bottom, okay? Make sure that that's covered. All right, so that's clean. That one's good to go. Do the same thing with the other one. On diagonal. bottom piece back over. Diffuser plate, you can go ahead and use the sandstone or the great brush and take that off. Okay, this is not common. I see, see stuff on this thing, so uh, this just happened. I was cooking green brisket, so it's definitely a lot of food. So, we'll set that over there with our diffuser plate in our Kong. All right, now this is not a standard accessory that comes with the Kong. I bought this extra, it is a charcoal basket, so we'll shake the charcoal, the old excess charcoal out. And again, we'll set this by our brakes. And our diffuser plate. All right, now, it's just taking a brush. We'll sweep everything inside of the comb. We don't want it going on our patio. We don't want it set on ash or grease. And then we grease spots a little sand on our patio, okay? Again, set that by our grits, our diffuser plate, our ash basket, and we'll keep sweeping. Okay. We'll sweep everything to the bottom. Alright. Once you get 
you got everything in the, in the bottom. You grab your ash rake, you will open the bottom vent. Your, I'm sorry, your ash basket as close as you can underneath. And from here, you're just raking the ash into the basket, okay? Okay. Once you get most of it, come in for another sweep. that done if you want this is not necessary but you can take out the inner clay piece we'll set this to the side and I do this every couple of months for it keep it clean all right and if you take that out all you have to do is sweep the inside of the car you can sweep everything directly into your Don't pay attention. You'll sweep your ass past your ass, your ass basket and you're onto the ground. Alright, so make sure you do this uh do this slowly. Okay. Now when you pick it up, this is how I do it. I to get my hands underneath, I use the gap in between here and make sure this gap is aligned with this hole on your palm. Okay. That's your air intake right there. So you want to make sure those two holes are aligned. If you don't take that out, you can't, you need to make sure you use the, uh, your brick. There is a gap in between the wall of the calm and the wall of the inner, the, the inner side of the inner clay pot in the tomato, okay? So you need to use your brick to make sure that you get in between those corners, okay? Or in that little space in between, okay? So now that that's back in there, it's time to reassemble. So first, we'll just do everything in the reverse order. So we'll take our air, air flow vent, we'll set that inside. All right. We'll take our ash basket, we'll set that, our charcoal basket, we'll set that back inside with our old charcoal. Just so you guys see how I set up the cook. When I'm putting charcoal, When I'm putting charcoal in the cone, I don't use a charcoal chimney. I gauge it to about the top of the walls of the charcoal basket, okay? And then what I do is I clear out the middle because this is where I'm gonna put my, my lighter source or my starter source. So if you have uh, the tumbleweed that comes from Kingsford or if you use one of the charcoal bricks that comes from Weber, you'll set that in the middle and then you'll put the wood around the outside. Then, once you put your starter inside, you'll stick the wood chunks around the outside. And that's how you have it, you'll get started up for a long cook in the car. We'll replace our diffuser plate holder. we we'll put our diffuser plate back in. All right. And you're done. All right, close this bad boy up. And that's it. You know what? <laughs> Pretty sure, blooper alert, I left a piece of that sandstone in my... That would have been bad. <laughs> All right. Get all this. Get this way. All right. Now we can replace our grill grates. Okay. 
this. Now we're done, all right? So now we can throw away our trash. Now that we got all of the alien substances out of the cone, we'll replace the cover and we're good to, and we're good to go, okay? Hey, this was a super quick and easy process, all right? I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please, if you have other ideas or other videos that you would like to see, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. I had a lot of fun making this, and uh, we'll see you in the next video here on the channel, all right? See you later. Peace.